Hey there, welcome back to the Festival Kitchen. I'm Lauren, this is Jenny. We're two Festival's Mealtime Mentors, and today we are bringing the world to your table with a delightful Greek recipe. That's right, Lauren. Today we are making Greek pork pitas in the Instant Pot, which is one of my favorite tools. Oh yes, especially um, because it's such a time saver. So um, today we're actually cooking meat in our Instant Pot, um, which is a little non-traditional, if you will, um, that a lot of people don't know you can use your Instant Pot to cook meat. Um, but you could also make this recipe in a slow cooker if you don't have an Instant Pot. It's just going to take quite a bit longer. Yes. Um, it'll take about 10 to 12 hours in a slow cooker, and today we'll have our meat done in 45 minutes. Yep. Huge time saver, yes. for sure. All right, so let's get started on our pork then. So we have pork shoulder here. The excess fat has been trimmed off. I'm just going to get that into the slow cooker, or the Instant Pot. Not slow cooker, we don't have that much time. <laughs> but you could put it in your slow cooker if you have a slow cooker and prefer to do that. All right, and then we've got one onion. So just a couple ingredients for this yeah. recipe. Super simple, just dump everything in. Garlic, onion powder, and oregano. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper to season it. So the Instant Pot really, like we mentioned, saves a lot of time. Um, and it's just, it's just really easy when you're using the Instant Pot because you don't have to just plan ahead. You can kind of make it right when you get home from yeah. work, um, and it can be done pretty quickly. All right, let's get the lid on. Love that little song. Yes, <laughs> no, it's on properly. Yeah, so we want to make sure it's set to ceiling. If it's not set to ceiling, you won't ever get that pressure build up, and you'll be waiting forever. Um, so ceiling, and then we want it on the meat stew function for 45 minutes. And after that 45 minute cook time is up, you'll let the pressure naturally release for 10 minutes and then use a spoon or something else to turn it to the venting so you can release the rest of the pressure. Just don't use your hand. We don't want you to get any burns. Yeah, so stay away from that area when you do that. So we actually have some that's done already. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start building our pitas. Um, so this is what our completed pork looks like. So it is shredded, um, which you can do with two forks, but you have a good tip that you are just talking about. Yeah, so when I shred meat at home, instead of using the two forks, which kind of takes a long time, I just put the meat into the bowl of my sand mixer with the paddle attachment, which is that flat one that kind of looks like a heart. And then I turn it on for like three seconds and everything's shredded. That is like magic. such a great tip. So if you have a KitchenAid mixer or any sort of stand mixer, that is something that's really a good idea. I hate doing the shredding. Yeah. It just takes so long. And your you hands kind of get that. tired. <laughs> yeah. So that's a great tip. So we've got our shredded pork. Um, it looks so good and so juicy. It's super juicy. Putting it into our pitas. You can find these um, in the deli department in our stores. Um, and you could also warm them up if you prefer. Yep. And to warm them up, just wrap it in like a damp Viva paper towel and microwave it for 15, 20 seconds until they're nice and pliable. But these ones are pretty soft. Yes. All right. So some other ingredients we're adding. I've already washed my hands, so I'm going to go ahead and just add some of these ingredients on top. Um, some lettuce. These are all very typical Greek ingredients. Oh, I'm going to add some feta cheese. Do you like feta? I love feta. Okay. Add some feta on. Goat cheese would be good here, too. Um, some Kalamata olives. We're both big olive fans, but if you aren't, yes. you can feel free to leave it off. Yep, it goes so for any of these ingredients. Yes, so you, you can just find these in a jar, pre-sliced and pitted. A little bit of red onion. Um, we've got some Roma tomato. These are getting kind of big, sorry. I'm kind of go crazy with, <laughs> with toppings. toppings. Yeah. It's the best part. And then just a little lemon. Let's squeeze that on, give it a little extra yeah. juice. Oh, and our... Oh, yeah. So you could use tzatziki sauce, absolutely. Um, but this is a new ingredient that I really like keeping in my fridge at home. Um, so it is Chobani um, Greek yogurt, but it's actually in a pouch like this, so you can use it in place of sour cream. Um, so we're just going to put a little drizzle on here, just making it a little bit easier. Yum. I love go. all these colors. Yes, it's so fresh. This is great for game day or if you have to feed a crowd because mm -hmm. it does make quite a bit of meat. Yes. Um, but really good for leftovers too. Yeah. Lunches. And who doesn't love leftovers, right? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Let's put Oops, a sorry lemon I... juice on. Gotcha. Try to fold this up here. 
I gotta bring my plate to my mouth. I'll never make it. Mmm, that meat is so good. It is, and I love feta cheese, so yeah, it's like the, the perfect combination. <laughs> Same. So grab your Instant Pot or your slow cooker and make this recipe. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit bestfoods.com.